Gordon Strong. Very, very welcome to Argentina. Thank you. I love it here. Le voy a contar a la gente que él es el director de la BJCP, Beer Judge Certification Program. It's okay? Sí, sí. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay, you know a little Spanish, así que va a ser más fácil un, poco. un poquito, <laughs> un poquito. Okay. Uh, when you start with with this program, fantastic program. Uh, when? 1985. It's so long ago. It is 30 years. <laughs> our our anniversary is uh, one week. We'll have a birthday party. Claro. <laughs> you should bring us a cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and now, grow and grow. Uh, how many judges are there in the world? More than 8,000, all over the world. Uh, 30 countries. It's very important. Explain to the people why it's very important the judge in 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 these competitions in in different competitions. Well, judges help brewers improve their beer, and uh, brewers help judges become better judges. So we help each other, and many judges are brewers. So it's the best way you can make better beer is to be able to judge it yourself. So all brewers should be judges. It's a, it's a system that helps you uh, learn the details about what you taste in the beer. And if you can identify it, if you know that there's a problem, then you can fix it. Otherwise, you just guess, and okay. who knows? Okay. And grow. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. You tell us uh, one, no, two news, <laughs> region news in the catalog, new catalog. To his oh, style. The style guidelines, oh, yeah. Tell, tell to the people. Oh, uh, yes. We uh, just released the new style guidelines and we added eight new types of IPA. So, uh, La IPA Regenda. Everybody loves IPA. <laughs> yes, and uh, we also added um, uh, wild beers, so beers with Breton Amiosis. IPA Regenda and Dorada Pampiana. They are they in are there. They are in there. They're in the back. It's, it's an honor. It's an honor. Well, uh, people here wrote them up, and I know they wanted to use them, so we put them in our guidelines. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Welcome to Argentina. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. It's your first visit to Argentina? No, my second. I was here two years ago for oh. South Beer Cup in Buenos Aires. Oh, okay. In free, in South Beer Cup free? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. You stay in South Beer Cup free and now it's a fifth uh, edition, okay? What do you think about the grow? It's growing uh, very fast, um, and the beers are getting better and better. Um, the beers are so so much better now. Um, more beers. Um, also, the organization is much better, and the judging the judges are much better too. So it's it's improving constantly. Um, the whole the whole beer community is um, is is lifting lifting up, lifting itself up. World beer cap. The next is in 2016. Yes, Philadelphia is on our east coast, um, and it's a very old city with much history. So much of our colonial history is there. You can see the uh, the Declaration of Independence. You know the piece where they sign, and uh -huh. um, you can see that there. You can see the Liberty Bell. Um, this How many participate at the World Beer Cup? Next one, maybe. Um, Maybe 6,000, maybe, oh. maybe, maybe more. Uh, it's going to be big, very big. We think it's very important, the difference competition, to uh, help 
all of uh, Burberry's to of grow. Course. Of course, it helps. This is the, a mission. Right? Yes, it is, and it's very helpful. The the brewer, you know, the judges they write down, you know, what's good about a beer, what's what, where the brewer needs to needs help, needs to pay attention, and then the brewers they get that back and they make changes, and their beers get better and better and better. Hey, you can do this to make your beer better. Or he can say, "Man, you make great beer." It's a really, it's very helpful. Very important. Very important to get that feedback, and it makes it makes everybody better. It lifts everybody up. Maybe we go to United States to cover you the should. world. You should come to the yeah. to the World Beer Cup and Craft Brewers Conference. You'll have so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so sure. much. Sure. Thanks, Gracia. American Home Brewers Association, the president, director, yes. director. director. Gary Glass. Hi, welcome. Oh, thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. And uh, first, I must know when start, when begin uh, the Association of Home Rulers in the United States. Uh, 1978. So it's been, it's been a while. We, we, we've been at this for quite a while. Yeah. Okay, and since 1978 today, uh -huh. What do you see? Oh, What happened? <laughs> an explosion uh, of of home brewers and craft brewers. Uh, you know, it's it's and it, and it continues. It continues to grow. So, back in in 1978, there were maybe 40 breweries in the United States. They all made the same beer. Now, was, yeah, and now there are over 3,500 <laughs> breweries, and almost all of them were started by home brewers. So. Okay, it's your first visit to Argentina? It is, yes. Ah, what do you think I, about I'm, Argentina? I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look at this place. This is beautiful. This, this brewery is spectacular. Like, what, a, what a great event. Uh, all, all these brewers for, from, from all over getting together. It, yes, it, basically, it doesn't matter. As long as there's beer, everybody's happy. Uh, the, the, the event is very well organized uh, and, and, and just a great time. Like, Martin Boan, it's uh, incredible. Yes. One man. <laughs> yeah, what, what, one man. But there, there must be like five men in, in, inside that co Martin Boan costume, I think. <laughs> Next time, second time to Argentina, John Palmer. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. You write a book, one of the most important book to brew beer. Please talk to the people. Sure. Look, our program. Sure. I wrote uh, How to Brew uh, back in 2001, uh, and then I came out with a second edition in 2006. And I, what people tell me is that they have used my book to open breweries here in Argentina and Brazil. It's very flattering. It's a, a book inspired all of the people, but you put free. Yes, I, I had published the book to the internet at first. Uh, because I wanted people to not make mistakes when they were brewing for the first time. I mean, they should enjoy this hobby. And then my wife said to me, she goes, what? You mean we're not making any money off of this? And it's like, well, okay. <laughs> so then we did the hard copy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you. But you inspire all the people to start uh, yeah. your first beer. Yes. And... Today you explain uh, about water, the importance of the water. It's one of the more important elements. It's Yeah, well, you can brew good beer without adjusting your water, but it's the same as beer. Brewing is the same as cooking. You know, you don't make food for the table without adding seasoning. And beer is the same. So when you learn how to adjust the water, now you are improving the flavors of the beer and making that beer the best it can be. Okay, now, uh, what do you think about this South Beer Cup, this competition, level of the competition, what do uh, you think? The, the, the Southern Beer Cup is, uh, is a great competition. Um, I was here two years ago, and, or three years ago, and uh, the, le the, the quality of the beers has improved tremendously in that time. Uh, because these events bring brewers together and allow them to talk and and listen to presentations and learn and, and learn and it's but it's the brewer to brewer talking and collaboration that really lets everyone improve 